Everybody come down to Colton. Get my magazine signed. Get your copy. Most of Sports Magazine. Anthony Tumanello. She needs no introduction. The lovely Isabel Terrell. Wow. Hey. Hi, all. How you doing? I'm feeling pretty good here in Vegas. Oh, she's doing more than I'm doing better than her right now because I. I <laughs> <laughs> yes. The last time I saw you, you were wearing well, not the last time, but one of the last times you were wearing Hulk makeup. I was green, all green, green with envy. She was the She-Hulk at the Muscle Pinups booth at uh, Denise Messino's, but she's here at the Meet the Olympians 2019 uh, Olympia weekend right here. I, I'm 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 flustered. Look at this. I'm sweating. Um, I'm sweating. Why <laughs> me wipe that off? You. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about? I know that female bodybuilding is starting to creep back into the Olympia. How do you feel about that? I'm feeling good. It's about time we come back to the Miss Olympia stage. Oh, did I just say that? <laughs> We have uh, the former Miss Olympian champions come in on Saturday, I think, which is going to be really good. And then we have some female bodybuilders doing their posing, which I'm really excited about that, on the expo stage. Yeah, well. 2 o'clock both yeah. days, Friday and Saturday. Phenomenal women. You can't miss it. Are you going to get up not. there and pose? No, I'm very off-season. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants to see my Stay puff marshmallow ass. I do. Anyway, sorry. Ooh, okay. Are you going to stop by the alligator bar and have a drink with us? Absolutely. Mai Tais. On you. Be damn fucking straight on me. <laughs> All right. I'm going to let her go. We're going to interview at the expo tomorrow, right, too. Cool. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Get Love you. Get your social media out. Uh, Fit Rockstar on Instagram and then Isabel Terrell on Facebook. Um, wow. That's all I got to say. I know this young lady, but I had no idea who she was until she said who she was. Sabrina Keigley. Is that the correct pronunciation? Sabrina Keigley. Keigley. Oh, see, I'm from Brooklyn, so I pronounce things like shit anyway. But she's an NPC, a figure competitor, and she's also a veterinarian, which I find to be really cool. So, all right, a veterinarian dressed in this outfit. Is there any connection there? Yeah, I have to be my own doctor. Um, this gentleman here painted me all day. His name is Kyle Vest, also known as Prince of Fear. But I'm here to be painted today and walk around and say hello to everybody and introduce them to body painting. And you guys are with Jan Tanner, so tell us a little bit about how you came about. You have a great job, by the way. If you need a fucking an intern, I'm, I'm available, bro. How did you come about doing this? Um, I've been a body painter since about 20 years now, and I met Sabrina a year ago, and love at first sight. She's one of the best models I've ever met. I agree. I'm very, very excited looking at her like this. Show them the whole thing. Look at this. Come on, guys. Fucking mint. It really, this is, it's obviously an art, but I mean, it's, and it's, it's got to be difficult, though, because it's 3D, and especially on a, a figure girl, because they have shapely bodies. So, how does that, is that like more of a challenge? It, it can be a challenge for most artists, but some use it to their advantage. With Sabrina, it's easy to use it because she has the muscle tone and everything. And, What's, what did you use for the face bar? Because obviously it's like a mask type of thing. So what is that? It's a prosthetic. It's glued down. And the paint is actually pro air. So it's all waterproof. So she can actually go swimming right now. She can go swimming. I'm going to be making some rain if I keep looking at her like this a little bit. But uh, So plug your, uh, plug your Instagram, your site, whatever you want to plug. And these guys are with Jan Tanner, of course. Make sure you check out Kyle underscore Vest or Prince of Fear. And your Instagram, Sabrina? Sabrina K. Figure. Sabrina K. Figure. You can't know, can't not fucking remember that one. Looking great right here at the Arnold Expo 2019. Hi, I'm the Crazy Hawk, Blackstone Athlete's first ever Spartan race athlete. I'm Thea Renee. And you are watching Muscle Sport Magazine TV. How you doing? My name is John Sikoris, and this is Sharice Sikoris, and we're the owners of Titan Medical Center.
every time I think about you, yo, the thing that's come up in my mind is the hotel room when you was peeing out when the cleaning lady was watching you. I laugh <laughs> when I think about it. You should have a story in your magazine about the whole thing. It's, <laughs> it's like a movie. <laughs> the statue of limitations is over with, so they can't even come after me again. Yeah. <laughs> How's that? Why the shade of pale, Keithus? <laughs> Crystal, how much would you charge Brandon for a session? <laughs> do you want to do a session with Crystal, Brandon? We're going to try to get <laughs> Oh, I'm looking for a girl with a good personality, a good heart. I don't care if they're sexy or not. I don't care about the outside that much. I care about what's on the inside. That's yes, because that you can. Well, you know what? If you pink soccer, the outs, the inside, then becomes the outside. Can you stop with your like? No, I'm talking about buying her nice hosiery, pink socks. Uh you know, there's normal people in here, not only there's cookie not cutters. On this show. <laughs> yeah, from my fan base, normal people. Well, which wh who are they? Tell me, I want to say hi to them. Jay well, Trenfinger, is Jay you... the one of your fan base? Yeah, but... I think you are a very good person. You're a nice young man. You're a college educated person. You're, you're good to women. You're the exact opposite of everything the show is all about. Am I the only guy that likes to get his balls licked? <laughs> well, well, you know, I love eating pussy more than I like fucking. And I've told my wife that. I could eat your fucking pussy the whole fucking day long. You know, see, when I was a kid, there was no such thing as ADHD. It was, this kid's either, he's retarded. They didn't have, um, uh, uh, they didn't call it autism. They was either, you were a retard, and that was a real term. That's not a, a slur. Or you were an asshole. If you were just ah, you always talk. This kid's a fucking asshole. Shut up. Sit the fuck down, asshole. Before I fucking put my shoe up your ass, the teacher would say. Have you had periods of time where you not ate the wife's box? Only when she told me she didn't want me to. I've always suggested. I've never been like, no, I don't want to eat. I, I, like I said, I would fuck. She could be like, you know, in, in the grocery store, and I'd be like being dragged on the floor, like, like one of those dead Holocaust guys when they were throwing him in a wheelbarrow. I'd be like, oh, a fucking pussy like that. He is Brian Kaufman. I am Joe Piataro. Men's Health of Smithtown right here, MHS.care. It's, it's a little confusing, the name, though, Brian, because Men's Health, it's a doctor's office. It's a TRT clinic. It's a lot of things, and you've seen us before, and you, know, you guys know exactly what these guys do over here, but... Men's Health of Smithtown, it's, it's, a little, it's a little misleading, if you will, because you have a lot of ladies that come here too, right? Yeah, we have a lot of females, so I apologize, uh, ladies, because we do treat women. Um, men's Health, this, I've been doing this for such a long time that I've started out with all guys, and then it evolved to women. And, you know, when women call us, do you treat women? Yes, we do. So, like we said, it's not just for males, it's for females, and we're big with the hormone replacement for females, the weight management, um, and Botox, and it keeps going, Joe. <laughs> so they do the Botox and the fillers, which obviously a lot of, now that's something my wife's interested in. <laughs> so uh, you also, so now since you're a regular GP, if you will, so obviously a, a woman could just come here as a regular. Absolutely. Um, 
a women who a, a, a lady or girl could come in um, if they're not feeling well we'll go over their medical program as well if like I said they have a common cold or influenza whatever the case may be uh, but females who want to enhance their face Botox fillers I have several physicians here that are unbelievable with fillers and Botox that price I mean it's not gonna break the bank but they're unbelievable these are my physicians here because they really work with women on the look they're looking to get um and they're just fantastic they are yeah give us a little info on the weight management aspect okay so weight management everyone suffers with weight um mm -hmm. we deal with medications that are, that work with peptides uh to the normal fentamine so if you have a weight problem or you have a little issue getting a little stubborn parts of your body you cannot lose that weight we can definitely help you out i mean 100 percent. we use uh, medications uh with a weight with with a program uh with with diet and we could definitely achieve what you're looking for i mean yes we've been doing this for a long time i've never had a, a female unhappy put that yeah. way yeah obviously weight management's a big thing the botox is a big thing also but you also had mentioned when we were talking off camera um, libido enhancers oh. for men and women. So since we're on the women's side of it now, let's talk about that. It's just one of the questions that the women come in, and they feel embarrassed. Uh, their spouse would have ED issues. They say, hey, what about for us? I said, it's normal. So we do have medications for, for females to have problems to be sexually aroused and all that stuff. Uh, it's not a problem at all. So it is normal. So we do treat that. It's very common. And it's funny because we have the couple come in and say, what about me? What about me? It's all right. Well, take care <laughs> of you. You're a second. But we do uh, help females as well. It's not a problem at all. Yeah. What are some of the type of things that, that, that women are prescribed? Uh, Viagra. Believe it, Cialis. Women do take these medications. It you, does work. Yeah, it on works show, well. Um, and we carry the medications here. You'd be surprised how uh, a five milligram Cialis tablet will help a female, you know, start to uh, work with their spouse. <laughs> so yes. it does work. I mean, it's amazing how it does. We also have creams for females that you know they apply to the vaginal area, mm -hmm. um, and it works. It's very effective. Yeah. That is huge. So um, things like that, uh, you know, very important because most of the the, uh, the libido enhancers are geared towards the guys, men. Yeah, guys. Uh, and, and women, don't be embarrassed. It's normal. You know, I, I always tell girls, it's okay. It's a normal thing that happens. So a lot of times they don't know where to go because they feel like, well, it's only guys. No, it, it, women do suffer uh, from libido issues a lot. It's very common. So. Unfortunately, I understand exactly what you mean. Cause, <laughs> and the audience on the Instagram Live, they do a lot of uh, things about Mrs. P. They do hashtag pray for a blowjob for Joe <laughs> when my birthday is coming up and things like that. So not only do I think I'm going to have my wife here if she wants to do the Botox, but she's going to have to understand if you're doing the Botox, you also got to do something for me. <laughs> exactly. It's got to work both ways, all right? You know, so. I'm hooking her ass up. She's got to have to hook well, me up with some ass. Stuff. You have anything on site that the medication is ready to go. <laughs> for your birthday, <laughs> promise. Um, also, obviously, the Botox is going to have to be something that the, the, the patient would have to be local. But now, as far as the, the uh, uh, libido enhances and things like that, or the weight management, can that be out of state? Correct, yeah. Uh, the weight management and the medication we do ship, same thing with the other medications for women. You know, that, I wouldn't say the ED medications, but for women, we do ship them. That's not a problem at all. Yeah, okay. it's very simple, yeah. That's great. So you can't ship your forehead. No, no. But you, you can ship the medication to you no, if you're doing outsourcing. Yeah, don't do anything stupid. Don't send anything crazy to us, please. I don't <laughs> yes, need no, no, no Ed Gein type of uh, lampshades made here. The FBI coming in for like some crazy stuff going on. No, <laughs> nah, we're just having a little fun, obviously. But... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Put the lotion in, in the, the basket. Bas Put the fucking lotion in the basket. Like, what the fuck? It's skin. <laughs> it, it don't fit. Dr. Brian got you a skin glove. Let's keep it. Keep it, please. We're getting stupid over here. You think that we're having uh, liquid lunch, but we're not. But, uh, guys, I've been telling you about this place for a while on uh, MSTV. MHS.care. Check them out. It's not just for men, it's for ladies also. And women. <laughs>
MSM Maidens at the MSM booth. Old School Lion presents our coverage of the 2019 LA Fit Expo with Shellen Peterson. She is a arm wrestler and she's been arm wrestling all day, I hear. Yes, all day in our class. How have you done so far in the tournament? I'm ending third place right and left hand. In both hands. Now, I'm going to ask a stupid question that I'm sure arm wrestlers are like, oh, are you fucking kidding me? All right. Obviously, everybody is stronger in one arm. They're dominant in one arm. As an arm wrestler, do you have a choice in making that decision? I'm only going to arm wrestle with one arm, or do you have to do it in both? You make a decision, right or left. But you should do right and left to be well balanced. Okay. Now, if somebody is a left-hander and you're a right-hander, how does that work out? That you have to just go with the opposite hand then for that person, right? Absolutely, and surprisingly, if you're right hand dominant, you're often left hand stronger, and it reverses. You see, these are things, the stupid bodybuilding world, we don't know about these fucking things. How long have you been uh, competing in arm wrestling? Uh, a little over a year. And so you, uh, you've been competing with the UAL? You have, what other uh, federations have you been with? I'm on Alpha Empire's team in Southern California. We're the largest female team in Southern California, and I've been wrestling with them for a little over a year. A little over a year. Shellen Peterson, what the, Maidens, what do you think? You want to get on the arm wrestling table with her? Uh, no, thank you. Jim <laughs> says no. Jesse, would you get on the arm wrestling table? I'd try it. You there try. There you go. Come on over. I won't. <laughs> With Shelly Peterson at the LA Fit Expo 2019. Right here, Pro 50th Park with Steve Arnone. He's related to Anthony Tumanello on the cover. You can see he's wearing his official method training t shirt. Steve, what's going on, bro? And Anthony tells me a lot of good things about you. He says that you're one of his guys and you train a lot of people. And you won't be Can you give us your little background on your story? So when I first started uh, with Anthony, I was playing football. I was doing something as a lineman. I was running 315 pounds. And Anthony stopped playing football. So I didn't have that football on anymore. So I mean, Anthony kind of changed my whole life. And I found got nice and healthy. And started working on his bodybuilder. And he was now I'm lucky enough to get to do the same thing. And what, uh, where will you compete? Uh, I didn't have any seat. How about you? So, um, I competed in bodybuilding and classic cuisine. First year, you know, like TA to do it. Back there, so family after that, fell in love with it. We did two more shows and won first place in the world. So, we did the same year. Fucking and he's so modest. They have a couple of shows. He's the, he says the third place one first. Come on, come on, come on. Throw it out there. You want a fucking show. Which show is that? Very cool. Awesome. And you guys all know each other, right? See, they all work out at this gym, Keepers. We gotta come to this gym. <laughs> he's like, yes. What do you think about Steve? So you knew Steve before? Got and Michelle think it's crazy. I think it's fucking awesome. Give out your right on the Steve Arno right here with the MSN Maidens at ProFit Deer Park. Thank mm -hmm. you. 